Okay. So on the inside of this fire pit here um, is snowy and uh, frozen ground. So first thing I did is put down some of the questionable pieces we found. They're not exactly uh, the best. And then I split off just a couple dry flat pieces to make a little platform. And then this is that, uh, that nice dry pine that you can find off the, the snaps like this. Real nice. Collected a bunch of that down the hill where we found, we had to find some hardwood to cook our goat on. You don't want to cook your meat over pine or other uh, resinous wood. That stuff's fine for quick heat, but not for cooking your food over. So what I'm going to do is around my little platform. I'm going to get these, these dry ones kind of prepped in a little wedge that I can collapse onto my flame if I can get that going here. Sometimes it's called an upside down fire or platform fire. But you want to start the fire right on the ground because the uh, conduction of the cold wet ground is takes all your heat so you can't get enough heat on the wood to cause the combustion. All right, so that's enough of that. And then, uh, I found some, a little bit of birch as well. This is wet, but we may as well uh, put this on the, put this in there. It's oily, it'll catch uh, eventually. So, these dry out. And then we're using, uh, these are those Bigfoot bushcraft little fire plugs. It's kind of a, accelerant soaked uh, cotton and then some sort of um, wax around that so first thing we do is split this thing open they get at some of the drier fibers on the inside and catch a spark just open it up and fluff that up. Don't really have to use uh, the whole plug, but seeing as how it's kind of wet out right now, we're just gonna do that. Get that there. And then uh, some of the coating off this is uh, a new fire steel. Get some of the coating off that. Well, I'm gonna pin my pin my um, tinder down, my little fire catcher, and just no, nope, no, it's not going to catch that way, is it? Uh, maybe I can do it this way. There we go. Get that accelerant going. That's burning. We can sort of collapse the top layer of these dryer twigs over the fire. Let's see if we can get some of those to catch. Given that we've done a good fire prep, should be able to just sort of let this get going, walk away, and we can get the rest of our get the rest of our wood split here. We got some uh, goat roast and oak over the side. We found some fallen branches, and we got some pine for later. Yeah, there she's going good now. There you go. 